All right, we're back at Bucks of the Branch. Time to get another quick update on what they're looking like. Come along for the ride. All right, this is our first spot closest to camp. Uh, it's coming up nice. We've got some radishes coming up. That looks like radish to me. leaves look different out here not entirely sure uh, like i said this might be a kale actually it kind of looks like kale that might be the forage kale coming up here so we have uh, quite a bit of uh, nice germination it's looking good yeah that's kale so it looks like we got uh, germination is good soil is still pretty wet so we should uh, we'll have a nice uh, nice crop in here, baby. Let's keep it up. Next plot. All right, we're onto our uh, first section of the uh, big field, one of the biggest sections we got. Again, it's coming up real nice. This, oh, this does look like another kale. Um, so this probably is the um, might be. I don't I don't remember, but we got some nice patches. It looks like it's coming up real nice. Got deer in here already. But yeah, this one looks slightly different than over there. So again, it's starting to turn green, so this is should be good. Hey look at tennis ball. Wonder who's that from? <laughs> Alright, on to the next spot. Alright, second biggest section in the field. Still, uh, it looks a little spotty, but if you look down close, it is, it's coming up really nice. We got a uh, nice um, seed distribution. They don't look like they're too close yet, uh, but we got nice germination. Check it out, these bigger ones out here, bigger leaves. This, actually, this one actually looks like the kale, or it might be the Winfrey, I don't remember. But either way, we've got germination, it's greening up, and it's going to be pretty stinking sweet. You got the nice uh, screen that divides the four sections. This is coming in better than I hoped for. This one is the, the Whitetail Institute, um, I forget what it's, the, what it's called, the... Uh, remember exactly the seed blend it's yellow bag oh conceal so this is the the conceal by whitetail institute the intersection and then the outer border when we get to the other end i'll show you it was a white northwoods whitetail mix heavy screen so on to the next one guys all right this is the last section of the big field this one usually does the best out of all because it is a little bit lower it holds more moisture most of the time uh, but it is looking pretty good in here Got good germination again it doesn't look like it's too crowded maybe in some spots but looks like you got some good uh good distance between all the plants so they can grow nice and mature and uh, it's looking looking pretty good for only two weeks being planted so we'll keep you updated and uh got more coming at you all right so again this is the heavy screen this is the stuff i really like to do good because we can sneak in and out without the deer in the food plot seeing us. Um, works really good. And this was a Northwoods Whitetail. Uh, I think they're based out of Michigan. Um, and it is their, their plot screen, but it's the heavy one. Um, it does require a little bit of work to get it going, but as, I mean, if you do it right, it'll look really good. And last year we had some of the stuff that was, I don't know, it's probably 15 feet tall. Um, we're gonna come through and hit this with some nitrogen today because we got some rain coming uh, this week, Thursday, Friday, I believe. So we'll give it a nice shot of uh, nitrogen. It should get green and should really boost it up uh, as we come into the hunting season. So we'll be for surely showing you more of this as it continues to grow, but it's, it's already thick. It's almost as tall as me already. So we're looking good coming into season. All right, this is on our spot uh, we always called Gramps. Uh, I always like to sit up in the trees up there. This was what we planted with kohlrabi and a little bit of um, brassicas blend of turnips, grape, and that kind of stuff. 
I mean, it's starting, this one doesn't seem like it's popped as fast, but there is some germinating. Again, nice seed distribution, and looks like we might have a little more germination more towards the middle, where it holds more of the water. It actually looks like a lot of clover coming back. But there is some, definitely is some of the, the brassicas popping, like that one there, so. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. This is a different type of seed. We haven't done uh, kurabi before, but I'm a, I've heard that deer like it, so we're gonna give it a try. Hopefully it comes in good. We'll keep watching this one too. All right, here we are up in the corner by our blind and homemade, homemade stand. Uh, this was the field that we planted the radishes and the pumpkin seeds. This was planted a day earlier than the rest of it. So this is impressive. Take a peek. really came up good. Radishes anyways. I have yet to see my pumpkin plants. They probably got shaded out from the radishes. But I'd be happy with a good crop of radish too. They do a lot of attracting, build the soil, and uh, are pretty tasty. So we'll keep you... Oh, here we go. Here's a pumpkin plant. one made it make that two make that two beautiful we'll keep you posted we got a few more spots to show you all right this is another spot uh real close to camp this is the one that normally comes up quick but then really doesn't turn into much as uh, in regards to like bulbs and stuff but again it's all germinating it is still pretty moist up here you see good germination in here. It looks like the deer have been hot and heavy in this one too. Pretty big deer tracks too. Uh, but yeah, looks looks decent. The radishes are doing very well down here. And the camera is up, but we, we don't have the cell camera up yet, but uh, we did put one of our regular cameras up. So we'll pull the chip, swap that out today and see what we got uh, coming in. The radishes, like I said, are doing real good. All this was planted on the same day. So it's pretty incredible how them radishes do and compared uh, to other things. That's why I like them. Grow fast, smother everything out, especially weeds, and provide nice uh, forage. So this looks like it'll be good as well. There's the stand. See at the next one. All right, this is our halfback spot. We don't have any um, stands or anything on this one, but uh, it's coming up real nice. It also was a mixture of the kurabi and the primetime uh, brassica, so a lot of bulbs and the kurabi. It's coming up real nice. It's like we did get it a little thick in spots, but it'll be green. It is green. And the deer will eat it. There's already <laughs> lots of tracks in it, so keep you posted. We're headed back to the ladder now. See you then. This is our last spot. The ladder stand. It's where we planted the giant rapeseed. It's coming up. In spots. It's kind of, looks like it's kind of spotty. But hopefully, I mean, it's still pretty moist back here, so we should definitely see it get bigger. And they don't eat it. We'll have something nice to hunt on uh, come September for bow season. That's it. They're all looking good. Catch you next update. Ladder stand. That's where we planted the giant rapeseed. That's not a ball because it is a little bit lower. It holds more moisture most of the time. Uh, but it is looking pretty good, Ethan, what they're looking like. Come along for the ride.